Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Blank Check here, and today we are back to MLP Season 9, this time Episode 23, The Big Mac Question. There is a lot of pressure on this episode because it is effectively the last regular episode of the series. Airing after this one is what looks to be a two-part finale, closing the villain arc started at the beginning of Season 9, followed by a series finale, a single, maybe epilogue, episode. I'm going strictly by titles here, I don't know what happens in those, or in this one. But for this episode, I think I have a pretty good idea. We're at the end of the series, it's a Big Mac episode, there's a question involved, and I was warned to stay away from Twitter until I saw it. So I would hazard a guess that Big Mac is asking a certain question to a certain pony. Let's hope this time around that there's no changeling attack. If the premise is what I think it is, this is a big episode, it's inherently feel good, and now it's all up to the execution. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's pop that question. Spike? I just wanted everything to be perfect. Not your episode. I mean, this was a big deal. But when Discord insists on being involved... Regardless of what Spike might say, that little dragon begged me to help. Is this like and subtle review? You, he can cause plenty of chaos all on his purple lonesome. I pride myself on baking under pressure, but I just... Different takes uh, from yeah. everyone involved? You'd think we'd be used to stuff like this in Ponyville. Oh, I man. still have nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> Seems simple when it started. How much of a problem was this endeavor? It's... <clears throat> yep. Please be like an apple no. ring. Okay. I'm not gonna eat it. Eat what? It looks like a real big diamond. What is it? I wanna see. No. Nope. How'd you afford that, Why Mac? Not because you have a big mouth. Me? The farmers make I banks. Tons of secrets, like Fluttershy's secret fear of clowns. In Ponyville. Oh no. At that time, I caught Twilight sleep trotting through town. Oh. <laughs> you know that Octavia went on a date with Bulk Biceps. Ooh. Talk about an odd couple. I heard that. Look at that uh, gossip. All right. Point taken. There's a but weird ship. That's right. Comrades, the Migos. I hope Fluttershy doesn't watch Joker. She'd be super scared. And sad. That is... Is that real Mac? Big Mac is going to propose to Sugar Bell! <laughs> <laughs> well, the town knows. Hopefully Sugar Bell was not in town at the time. Otherwise, that'd be... A little awkward. But based on the, uh... First part of that cold open, looks like... Things might get more awkward as things go on. I wonder if everyone's gonna try to uh, distract her while they're setting up a surprise, or it's just the wedding planning itself gets crazy. Uh, a lot like Saturro Review, where they were trying to set up Rarity's boutique the way it needs to be, and everyone just can't work together. Of course Big Mac asked me to help with his proposal. I'm the most romantic dragon I know. <laughs> it really is a curse having it's not saying a lot. Hours. Every pony is always asking you to move a couch or help with a proposal. <laughs> what do they think I am? Every Infinitely day. powerful? Don't leave anything out! Oh, do we have to hear all the details? I mean, they're is correct, it like but. A friend thing? <sighs> Don't give Discord ideas. Actually, give Discord all the ideas, Mac. I don't talk much, yes. so I want to show Sugar Bell how committed I am. First, Mac, you are the most committed pony in this entire series. I don't I don't think anyone doubts you're that. You're making a picnic table that matches the shelf you made Sugar Bell for her shop when you had a crush on her? And you're setting up a romantic meal overlooking Sweet Apple Acres? Yep. Yay. How did you figure that out? If you Mac's predictable. You'd know that was the only logical choice. Then... And predictable... I think Sugar Bell likes predictable. You painted apples to leave around Ponyville with little riddles tied to the stem that will lead her up here to meet you? All right, okay, so it's a big process. Now. Yeah. Oh, I know. You need a giant rhino, <laughs> Dolores, who can knit a romantic sweater for two. Well, how do you know? Uh, nope. Hey, Discord's thinking outside the box. Come on, he needs food for the picnic. That was a gimme. I like how Discord helped with the, uh, 
The oh, hand gestures the there. Table. I'll pick up whatever you need to eat, and Discord would put all the apples in place. I will? Yeah. I really wish that the diamond was in the shape of an apple. <laughs> Alright. So this is all about them. <laughs> the, the guy gang. The man From squad. Sugar cube corner. Look for your next clue. Red, delicious, sweet like you. Find it. You'll know what to do. <laughs> Max, man, stick to bucking apples. Been reading some Sugar mystery novels. Love it. Some romantic mystery novels. They probably make scavenger hunts in the orchard on holidays. How long will it take you to place all the apples? Are you sure you put them in the right spots? Those terrible riddles <laughs> apples were very clear. Look, I picture. know riddles. I'm sure that they were placed properly. I'm the riddle master. I, I, I think, maybe. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Don't you play my games? Okay, fine. I'll double check. My oubliettes. Oh yeah, the CMC get the help. She didn't see the apple. What are we gonna do? Well, we could just give it to her. That's not romantic. She needs to discover it. Yeah, you have to help, but not be seen dragon. helping. I've precipitated liquid cocoa on Equestria and herded long-limbed Laporidae. I can certainly make a pony see an apple. I mean, <sighs> it's good and bad that he didn't say liquid cocaine. I think some of the ponies would have appreciated that. Cake? I need to pick up a few things. No, oh, I'm afraid you'll have to wait. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Oh, is this sour cream or sweet cream? That's, I like that Miss Kate gets to be in. Oh, it's kind of important. Maybe I could take some of these. This is a big episode. I mean, she fits obviously because she's. Those are for something important too. The baker. All of them. There's one, two, three, four. Twenty-one. And yes, all of them. Who needs twenty-one desserts? I can't tell you. It's a secret. Is it? Come by later. Mac. Later won't work. Why not? Is she baking for for Mac? You. It's a secret. Are they sharing the same secret here? And it's just. Uh, Working against them. Some pony else make these? No. Why? No reason. <laughs> Come on, guys. I know you're good at keeping secrets, but drop some hints, maybe. Thank you. These are perfect. Oh no, Rose. Rose is gonna. Oh. You know, if she's too busy to read the horribly written clues, maybe you should just tell her. Yay, my favorite talking apple friend. That's terrifying. Apples eat you. Listen up. Great, great. Each of you has a job to do. Take a look at your stems. I like that single patch with all the ribbons. Oh, well, tell me about it. But regardless, go to your designated location, deliver your messages, and make me proud. Hey, four star Discord. You've been working hard. So many. I just have to say, Big Mac is really lucky to have me as a friend. Lives sent on the front lines. He's a ruthless general. Okay. Down, <laughs> 20 to go. Then I can help you. Maybe I can help you. Yeah. Delivering parchments is my thing. A little dragon breath and whoosh. We deliver parchments. Oh, Are those dessert. also and riddles? Me. Watch. <sighs> oh no. Celestia is getting a whole lot of parchment. Yeah, burnt to an apple crisp. As the saying goes. No need to sneak. The next apple is at the boutique. <laughs> this is a terrifying. What? Hold. What? What just happened? When the castle, take a right. The next apple sits in plain sight. I saw Lyra and Bonbon bon back there. What in the blaze is going on? Oh, it's the old guy who knows the apple dad. Oh, are you finally finished? I've been done for a while. <laughs> I hope that guy's in the wedding. You know, thinking back, I probably could have been clearer which pony to deliver the messages to. You think? Come on, Discord. You're being a real bad wingman here. Back to Sweet Apple Acres. Apples are terrible at taking directions. Couldn't even <laughs> to stay in one location. Now bananas. I mean, they know how to fall down. They are much better at listening. What's going on? Great, good phone joke. Love it. Apples running everywhere, and she didn't see the poem to get to the hilltop. 
getting her to the hilltop was easy. And not seeing the poems is actually a blessing when you think about it. Oh, no. No, Discord, you can't be seen. Too direct. Why would you think sending flaming messages into my desserts would work? No room in all of them! To be honest, oh. I tasted some and burning them might have been an improvement. What? Ouch! I never! Spike, Spike. you're gonna be baked <laughs> next. You're the next pie. Sugar Bell! Big Mac? Discord? No. <laughs> SpongeBob! What did I do? <laughs> Nothing. I thought we were just saying each other's names. Technically correct. I guess this can't get any worse. As the Lord of Chaos, I'd advise against saying things like that. Discord, you're disinvited from the wedding. Save yourself! To the giant apple? Oh no, it's a conglomerate. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. This has more action than I expected. Have a reputation for getting carried away, especially when romance is involved. <laughs> but that wasn't the case with this. We were just helping Sugar Bell with her plan. Oh, Sugar Bell's gonna ask. Is a double? Oh my goodness. One should just say e. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I like so it a lot. You want to put each one of those inside a dessert. It's like when you go to Since Big Mac's plan to send me a hearts and hooves day pie with the message inside didn't go so well. I oh. thought it'd be fun to do it right. Disney World. Oh, that's so romantic. And the man and woman both get down at the same time. Adam. So I thought I'd use as many words as possible to propose to him. All he has to say is. Yep. <laughs> I, you'll never get that out of him. Part of the family. It's impossible. You played such a big part in Big Mac and I getting together. I'm glad you could help with this. Oh, she's so cute. I love you, Big Mac. Would you like to spend the rest of our lives together? I hope you say e. <laughs> each word has to go into a dessert. That's one. Two, He's got to eat a whole lot of. Whoa, twenty-one! I know. Whole lot of dessert there. Actually, it's twenty-two. He's gonna be real full. Mrs. Cake was kind enough to help me bake all the apple-flavored treats I made to get Big Mac to visit me in my old shop. When he gets to that last one, he's just that gonna one has the invitation for him. Barf all over you. Here. Oh, it's it's no bother. I do love a challenge. Did I add the sugar to this one or to that one? Oh, I want the baby cakes to help. Quote unquote. Apple six times so far. Now you three go deliver that pie. This pie is only sugar. To spruce the place out. You just burnt sugar. I can discord her outside. If they figure out what we're up to, they'll spill the beans. And I want this to be a surprise. Oh, the paths cross. I don't think they suspect anything. Why would they They're ruining each other's invitation pie and that Mrs. Cake is baking a 21 dessert proposal. I can't believe I'm gonna have a secret <laughs> <pie. laughs> Everyone knows. I love it. This is our Everyone shot to but make up for all the trouble we caused when Big Mac first asked Sugar Bell out. The bride and groom. Oh yeah. I like these callbacks. Uh, how's this? They're playing on the Better? Come on, let's go. The original shipping episode to make a screwdriver. Nice little tying the knot of the arc as well as tying the knot. On. That looks just like the shelf Big Mac made for Sugar Bell. Yeah. Weird. Maybe he stole the blueprints. He's bound to show up soon. He's a fraud. When I'm looking for something, Granny says it's best to check the least likely place. Come on. Let's go to Ghastly Gorge. Screwdriver. <laughs> I like that. Hey, all right, our bowling guys. The dude showing up one last time. He might be at the wedding. Yay! Oh, the raccoons. Big Mac! Speaking of Saddle Row Review, glad they showed up for this one. Big Mac! <laughs> the spa ponies. Give us all the highlights. Sugar Bell supposed to propose to Big Mac if we can't even find him. It's a weird. Cake isn't finished yet. 
shrubbery design. You know, when I'm looking for some pony, Granny says it's best to just stay in one place. Let's head back to the farm and wait. Big Mac is sure to show up soon. You just grew a bush in a spiral in front of your bakery. Come on! It's the golden ratio. Love is in the air! <laughs> When they all combine, they'll recite Romeo and Juliet. Oh my... Yep. Oh, it's so cute. I love that. Little tippy taps. He's such a gentle giant. Granny! Who goes there? Granny, have you seen Big Mac? Oh, hey there. I ain't the seen in three months. Peculiar dream. It's glaucoma. We need to find Big Mac, so... It was about Grand Pair, but it wasn't. And we were in outer space on some kind of mission to explore a strange new world. Yeah, it's G5. Stuck listening to Granny, we'll never find Big Mac. Grand Pair's got to be at the wedding. Good Briar was there, being as logical as ever. Presented with all the corny like, and then Discord showed Oh, great. Hey, well, you know, he's pretty much the same. Well, you guys... Good the job. Equestria that can stop her. All right. Finally, we give the most blatant Star Trek reference we can. It's only taken eight seasons since Q showed up. Spike? Oh, uh, hey there, Big Mac. I bet you... All right, everything's back together. Big Mac? Discord? Mrs. Cake? What did I do? It would have been funny if this Nothing. played out differently. I thought we were just saying each other's names. We're in alternate timelines. I guess this can't get any worse. We're unreliable narrators. The Lord of Chaos, I'd advise against saying things like that. <laughs> yeah. This is one big apple. I was trying to think of a pun. I gave up though. Discord? <laughs> Why does every pony immediately assume that this has something to do with me? Oh man, it's got Look all those eyes. God, and the good growth on it, speaking okay, in tandem. The message did get the sugar bell. Oh, Discord wiped their memories. You got this. This whole story is being twisted to make it seem like it was all my fault. Which it wasn't. <laughs> Wait, so you two were orchestrating a- I thought we were going to go back in time again. What was doing? Who are you proposing to? Discord! To vindicate him, somehow. I love you! I love you! I love you! Come on, you guys make a whole lot of applesauce. All right, fine. So the messages that were in the dessert were Sugar Bell's proposal to Big Mac before Spike set them on fire. <laughs> oh, so I'm not the only one who messes. It's all of Big Mac's Monster friends. High it's all the problems. Lady dragon. Hey, those desserts were ruined way before I ruined them. Mrs. Cake they did nothing wrong, not. Spike. You shut your mouth. May have mixed up a, a few ingredients. It was such a rush. You should both be very disappointed in yourself. My goodness. What about you and your what about you, Scootaloo, yeah, huh? But you won't expect that. Why didn't you stop all this? All we wanted to do was make up for messing things up the last time. Sugar Bell, Big Mac, we're really... Where'd they go? So they're getting hitched. They've okay, eloped. This time, it really wasn't me. They're on Lost Pegasus getting a... I shouldn't have taken all those just Random away. minister. It's just how can you say no to such a sweet idea? Oh, oh sweet. <laughs> oh, I made a joke. Oh my goodness, that was adorable. Flaming big goods aren't the best. I love that. We felt like it was all our fault. Except for the apple monster. That was Discord. And yeah, that's true. And up those recipes, and Spike burning the messed up recipes, and... The you know, in fact, we did everything pretty well. ...for ruining Big Mac and Sugar Bell's proposals. Was we ruined nothing. And then Grand Pear looked at me all dramatic <laughs> and says... Where no pony has gone before. All right, great. Away we flew. Fantastic. Light speed. Today was interesting. Yep. Oh. You okay? This path looks familiar. Yep. I'm sorry, Sean. Oh, man. I wanted everything to go right today. I wanted our love to be as perfect as my parents was when they planted these two trees together. It is perfect. Instead, it 
turn into a mess. It's love, like therefore. I ask you out, just like Hearts and Hooves Day. No matter how hard I try, I always seem to mess up when it comes to you. Love is messy. I think you've got things backwards. What do you mean? Oh, this discourse. Parents, they had to deal with things a lot tougher than some burnt desserts and an apple monster. Yeah. Uh, I guess that's Their true. family was against them. This apple tree and pear tree are stronger together. They'll survive whatever comes because they don't have to do it alone. They belong together. Like your parents and like us. Man, Sugar Bell's really good. It was a disaster. But today was also the last day we're ever going to have to do anything apart. I like her a lot. From here on out, we'll be together. And we'll make sure everything always works out just right. Man, what a shot that is. Big Sugar Bell, you... No, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sure. One. Two. Will you, you marry me? me? Yep. Yay. Ow, oh, it's great. What, did she not have a, a ring? As well. Up so bad that they made it all work out perfectly. Perfectly, one could say. Well, we've all made up, and we're here for a do-over. And this time, thanks to me, we've got it right. So, oh, you to you know, I like Apple Bloom having the apple in her hat. I think they did okay without us. Or not hat, in her bow. And that's how we were responsible for the perfect proposal. <laughs> Or should I say, pear puzzle? No. If we hadn't messed up the so perfect pear puzzle. Don't look smug, Apple Bloom. You weren't. You're not that good. Thinking. Sometimes it's the mistakes that help you discover something truly special. And when Aww. planning and grand gestures go wrong, it reminds you the most romantic things are usually the simplest. Spike likes to dress up nice. You all along. You're welcome. Good bow tie, Discord. Man, Applejack. Woo. Yeah, the townspeople. Yay, there they are, all of them. Oh my goodness, and the cats. And the mustache. It is my sincere pleasure to say, for my second Apple family wedding... I was about to say... ...that I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Oh, Mary Mary's been there for the Apple family for so long. Oh my goodness, I'm surprised we saw Double Diamond again. That's your cue. Great job, Discord. Really helped the. Let me have this one. The moment. Happy marriage, happy apples, happy marriage, happy. Yeah, the traditional wedding song. Oh my goodness. Oh, that one's real nice. I like that one a lot. The structure was fun. That uh, PPOV, uh, Saturday review style. And then just, oh man, that, that conversation in the end between Sugar Bell and Mac at such a great moment and in, you know, one of the most meaningful locations in the show. Boy. 41 frames. That is 1.7 seconds. That's the amount of time they gave me to register the background of the most important scene of this episode. And it wasn't enough because I knew the characters and spotted them like always, but I couldn't discern what was happening because of the Apple crisis. They deserved so much more because Mac and Sugar Bell were not remotely the most important proposal of this episode. Move over, Sugar Mac, because years before you were even a thing, the one true ship, the real OTP came about and we just received validation, vindication, and closure in 41 frames. Ladies and gentlemen, Lyra and Bon Bon are engaged. We know they said yes because they were both preparing to propose on this random ordinary day, apparently, a big coincidence. And it did it in the middle of an Apple invasion, which is fitting, I think, because it made their big moment the background of what was happening to the town at that point in time. No one noticed them, but they don't need those prying eyes. They they don't need fancy riddles. They don't need help from friends. They live by their own set of standards. Best friends, my flank. All right, now that that top five moment of the season has been covered, let me talk about the episode itself, I guess. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that was Season 9, Episode 23, The Big Mac Question, and it delivered. And credit to the people involved in the past in the show, because they loaded the bases for this home run. This has been a seasons-long relationship between Mac and Sugar Bell. Big Mac is a, a likable, endearing, respectable character in the show, and has been for a very long time. So it feels good to see him have a big win like this. And Perfect Pair gave this such a big history and weight to the event. As viewers, we were primed to have a whole range of emotions in the third act of this episode, and it was the storytellers' jobs to capitalize on it properly and deliver it effectively, and they did here. It's an example of an episode, I think, where the ending alone makes it great where the magnitude of what happens makes up for any failings in the rest of the 22-minute runtime. Which, don't get me wrong, I think the episode in general was pretty good. Discord's shenanigans are kinda overdone in this one, and it feels like not a lot happens in the middle. But that reality TV structure with the characters giving input puts a spin on it that gives it some novelty. There's a lot of solid character moments, some good comedy from Mrs. Cake and Granny in this one. Big Mac, of course, is wholly endearing from the start, and the premise itself holds it aloft throughout because we have that anticipation as viewers. But man, that moment shared between Sugar Bell and Big Mac, him apologizing, her imparting some great wisdom, and bringing us back to the apple pear tree. It's some major and earned emotion. Then seeing the apple family there, those big faces that we met back in Perfect Pear, Mare Mare presiding, Apple Bloom and Applejack seeing their big brother get married. It's just a wonderful moment, one of the big moments of the show, and the perfect closure for this storyline. Thank you, Josh Haber and Mike Vogel, for writing this one. You've done a whole lot for the show in the past four years or so, and we'll be seeing you again in the last two episodes. And whoever put Lyra and Bomb on there, I don't know if it was Haber and Vogel putting in the notes for the script, or if that was DHX doing their magic. Whoever it was, thank you. That's what I call tying up an arc. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me on this ride. Until next time, on three, one, two, three, yup. <laughs>